Hello, I'm Simon Whistler, you're watching the Today I Found Out YouTube channel, and in the video today we're looking at the origin of the Olympic rings. The Olympic ring symbol was designed by Baron Pierre de Coubertin in 1912. The idea of using rings intertwined with one another came from the Union de Société Française de Sports Athletiques USFSA, which had two interlaced rings as their symbol and which Pierre de Coubertin was for a time the head of. It was founded by two French sports associations that merged, hence the two interlinked rings. As far as the colors, this was also from the USFSA's logo design. Teams within the organization would wear white shirts with the interlinked rings being red and blue, the three colors of the French flag. For the Olympic symbol and flag, de Coubertin explains in the August of 1912 edition of Olympique, the inspiration for these colors was along the same lines. The six colors, which include the white canvas backgrounds, thus combined reproduce the colors of all the nations with no exception. The blue and yellow of Sweden, the blue and white of Greece, the tricolors of France, England and America, Germany, Belgium, Italy, Hungary, the yellow and red of Spain, next to the novelties of Brazil or Australia with Old Japan and New China. Here is a truly international symbol. Prior to 1951, the International Olympic Committee contradicted this, stating that each color represented a continent, contrary to what de Coubertin, who came up with the design, said. The IOC at the time listed the colors as blue for Europe, yellow for Asia, black for Africa, green for Australia, and red for the Americas. While the individual colors of the rings don't signify a specific continent, the number of rings was set based on the continents, as de Coubertin explained in 1931. This design is symbolic. It represents the five continents of the world united by Olympism. There is a myth that Pierre de Coubertin actually borrowed the Olympic rings from the ancient Greeks. The origin of this myth comes from when British authors Lynn and Grey Poole in the 1950s took a trip to Delphi while working on the history of the ancient Olympic Games and saw a stone carved with the Olympic ring symbol. They assumed, and subsequently included in their book, that this was a stone carved in ancient times when it was in fact carved for the 1936 Summer Olympics. The president of the Olympic Organizing Committee had it carved for a torchbearer ceremony at the stadium at Delphi. After the ceremony, they left the stone there. And now for some bonus facts. The official motto of the Olympics was proposed by Pierre de Coubertin in 1894 when the International Olympic Committee was created. De Coubertin got the motto from a priest, Henry Didon, who was also the honorary president of the USFSA in 1891, at which point Henry Didon came up with the motto for the USFSA, which in turn would become the the Olympic motto. The Olympic motto is Sitius Altius Fortius faster, higher, stronger. The official creed of the Olympics was inspired by a 1908 sermon given by Ethelbert Talbot, former Bishop of Pennsylvania. The creed for the Games is, the most important thing in life is not the triumph, but the fight. The essential thing is not to have won, but to have fought well. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do give us a like below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Also over there on the right are a couple of other videos you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one. And thank you for watching.